my opinion, compared to mount, it's easier to maintain and you're more comfortable because you get to use your feet. So when you're playing side control, when you're in side control, what you want to happen is you always want the shoulders, both of his shoulders, his shoulder blades, his delts to be flat on the mat. So every time, like earlier in the drill, every time he gets to move on his side, then he, he can wrestle up or start playing guard, okay? So I want to keep him there, okay? So I want, like in the drill earlier, you want to be heavy on your chest. And to be heavy here, so I want to, my knees to be off the mat. Because if my knees are down here, yeah. see, my weight is evenly distributed here, see? It's not as heavy compared to when my knees are off the ground. That's nice. Okay? Yeah. So from here, aside from being chest to chest, see like how my butt is low? my hips are down I'm not like this see I want my hips to be low and I control the hips as much as I can as much as I can I like going for the cross face when I start going for attacks but when I'm trying to maintain the side control I like to control the hips first see how I have my elbows on his hip see I have a wedge here so I don't really rush trying to go for the cross face here because if I go for the cross face right away, he can move his uh, knees inside and start playing guard. Okay, so from here, I'm blocking here. And when I'm ready, when I feel that he's not moving, then I'm going to clear. See how I'm using my knee? Then I can move here and start putting pressure on his head here. And see, when I move, see my hips are no longer connected to his hips. I'm, I need to put a wedge for something to block his hips here. Because if there's nothing blocking his uh, hips here, he can easily bring his knee inside. See how he can recover half guard from here. So I just have this wedge here. Okay, so for maybe a minute, let's try, let's try to play around with the position first. Go chest to chest here. Play here on your side. The guy will try to bump and move. See, try to bring your hips down, chest low and keep his shoulders down here. Okay, you can even try to cup his shoulders just to keep him down. Try to move, see how I'm staying connected here. And I'm using my feet to follow him here. Follow him here. And then you move here, he will try to follow. Go, see how I'm blocking his hips here. I can switch here again. I can move here. He can even drop the arm, okay? So play around with controlling the hips and then controlling the head, okay? But the goal is to keep his shoulders flat, okay, in one line. So one minute, let's just play around with it and then we'll move on to, to attacking afterwards, okay? One, two, one, two. Pressure on his head here. And usually from here, they will frame, okay? So this is a common defense because if they don't, then I can easily improve the position, move to mount, go to knee and belly. So, he will frame here. Okay, for guys who, like for guys smaller than you, you can easily try to pin this down. Okay, but let's say you're going up against bigger and stronger guys like Dave, like Justin. So it's going to be really hard to fight his arm here, the frame. So what do I do? I'm going to use my entire body to beat his frame and isolate the arm. So see, he's putting pressure on my neck. So what I'll do is I'll turn my go. Keep on putting pressure on my neck. I'll turn this side. So I'm going to bring my chin to my shoulder here. And look how I'm going to use my entire weight to eliminate that frame. Now I can isolate his arm. Okay? Again, so from here, see, you're fighting here. I can't push this down. Like with smaller guys, I can just use my chin and isolate the arm. But Dave is bigger and stronger than me and I can't seem to beat his frame here. So look how I'm going to look this way and bring my chin to my shoulder and use my entire body. See how look how I'm on my toes. And I'm doing this. See, I'm turning. 
like you're doing a push up, okay? So you're here, push, 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 I think. Now, I can isolate the arm. So the moment you isolate the arm here, so we'll go for the Americana. So every time you pin, I like to use, to add this detail here. So when if I look, uh, look at the difference, if I just do this, it takes a while for him to tap. But see, well, like I'm adding this detail, I'm removing the, the, the shoulder from the joint. Like try to separate the shoulder from the socket. So again, so from here, I'm going to, like I'm, uh, what do you call that? Like, motorcycle. Yeah, like the motorcycle detail. See, when you're trying to ride a motorcycle and accelerating here. See, I'm going to bring my knuckles down. See? Okay, let's try that. So again, so from side control, it's pushing here. I'm trying to fight. I'm going to bring my chin to my shoulder. And push from here and then finish okay questions none okay one two one two let's go okay so I turn see again I'm bringing my my chin to my shoulder and using my body to isolate but this time around Dave knows that the, the, the Americana is coming so he's going to try to grab his belt and defend. The moment he gets to grab his belt, now it's going to be really hard for me to, to attack his arm. So I, it's going to be a fight from here. So from here, even so I'm going to anticipate. So the moment I feel that he's going to reach for his belt, I'm going to intercept his arm, like I'm throwing an, an uppercut. Okay? So again, so from here, they, I'm going to intercept here okay so from here again i'm going to drop all of my weight on his elbow and then look so as i intercept and i drop i'm going to bring my arm under and do the same figure four grip but this time it's a reverse grip so i'm going for an Ameri uh, an akimura from here and look at the detail from here so look i'm going to bring my knee inside and switch my hips so I can bring my leg over his head, pull him up, bring his elbow to my chest, and finish the Kimura by bringing this to the side. Okay, again. So he frames. Again, I bring my chin to my shoulder and I isolate. And then he knows that the American is coming, so he's going to reach for the belt. I intercept and look. As I throw this arm, there's, I need to bring my arm under right away. And see how I'm switching my hips and putting all of my weight on his head. Then I can get my Kimura grip. And look, see I'm moving. My knees are pointing to his legs. I'm going to switch. So I can bring his leg over his head, pull him up, and submit here. Sometimes you don't need to bring him all the way up. Like when I'm here, I can just step over and finish here. Okay? So I just need, I, I step over just to keep him down. But sometimes to get that extra leverage, I get to my feet and twist to the side. Okay? Questions? One more time. One more time? Okay. So again, let's say from here, I was able to beat and isolate here but he's he he tries to grab his belt see how this motion is stopping him from going for his belt and immediately i bring that arm under drop my hips on his head and get the kimura grip from here and then i switch again see how i can bring this leg over his head or even move him up and finish from here okay Let's try it. One, two, one, two. So as I'm here, okay, so I grab. He knows that there's a threat of the Kimura from here. 
So instead of grabbing his belt, he's going to grab my head here. See, now I can't go for the Kimura from here because he's grabbing my head. But from here, see how, how his arm is high? He's wrapping my, my head from here. I'm going to switch my grip from, by, I'm try, I'll try to cup his bicep here. Okay? I can use my hand to help me move. Okay? So from here, as I move, I'm going to bring my elbow and put it here. See how I'm putting all of my weight? So my elbow on his ribs is forcing him to move to the side. I need that space. So I need him to turn to his side. Because if I don't, if he doesn't turn to the side, I don't have the space. I, don't, I need the space to finish the arm bar from here. If I just go here, see, I will lose the arm. It's not tight. Okay? So from here, see, he knows that the Kimura is there, see, he, so he hugs my head. Okay, from here, look, I'm going to cup or grab the inside of his bicep. Okay, I'm going to use this arm or his hand to help me move. Like in competition, you can even post on his face. But here in the gym, let's just post on the mat and see when... So I'm going to pull him up and bring my elbow. See how this motion is already moving him to the side? And my elbow on his ribs will force him to stay on his side. See how I'm putting all of my weight here. And then I'm going to step over, cut that corner, and finish the arm bar from there. Okay? So you really need to make him turn. If he doesn't turn, you don't have this space. You will lose the arm bar when you try to crank the arm. The elbow will pop out. Okay, questions? Good, okay. Let's give it a shot. One, two, one, two. Let's go.